Right, hello, I finally set a, oh, sorry, I'm just rearranging my uh, room. So, thanks for joining me today. Oh, my hand's over there. Where's my other hand? Grab this one. So there's this one. And also this one over here. I'm playing a VR game, guys. Um, what's this game called again? <laughs> Can't remember what this game's called. <laughs> the Stair or something like that. Um, Red Stair, the Red Stair. Is it the Red Stair? Yeah, I'm sure it is, yeah. Uh, it's a VR game. It's free of charge. It's on Steam. I'm playing on Steam at the minute. And um, <clears throat> I'm just testing out the inbuilt microphones. It's my headset, VR headset comes with a built-in mic and also with headphones as well. So I'm just trying this game out. I did attempt um, a video before, but I realized that I couldn't actually, I didn't record any of the in-game audio. So I'm trying again, but this time I'm going to start a new mission. So with the Red Stair, your mission is basically to find the commies. Find the communists in the building over there. Across the road, obviously you can't see because of this blind. But uh, once I start the game, you'll be able to see the, uh, the apartments and the world in this huge city. That's set in the, I think it's the 1940s. It could be the 1950s. But I will say that the first thing that this game reminded me of was Alfred Hitchcock's amazing um, Rear Window. It was one of my favourite films of all time. If you haven't seen Rear Window, I really urge you to actually go and uh, grab a copy or you know watch it on Netflix. If it's on Netflix or whatever um, site that you use, Amazon Prime Video, and give it a shot because it's one of the best. And it stars Grace Kelly, the beautiful Grace Kelly, and also Jimmy, um, Jimmy Stewart. Sometimes known as uh, James Stewart, but yeah, I love that particular era uh, in in film history. Uh, what I term, or what many people term, the golden age of uh, American cinema of Hollywood. But anyway, yeah. So. I did create a video based on the Mission R. I've never tried Mission L, but I will try Mission L now. But before we do that, you can use this board to try and uh, you know put your notes up, or if you need to. You should take photographs using the camera over there. You can put the pictures on the board. You can even use the chalk and write things. Help me, help. help. There we go. Or we could use the board rubber to rub it out. Awesome. And one awesome thing is that you can pull this down and it shows the apartments. And each one is numbered, as you can see. And there should be a notebook there, but it will tell you the inhabitants of those apartments. So, for instance, uh, in apartment one might be Grace and Jimmy. In apartment five, yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I have never tried Mission L, so I'm going to give that a shot. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy, guys. Okay, so here we are. Wow. And this phone tends to ring quite a lot. Voice acting, not that great, but... Afternoon, Agent 626. It's Hello. the boss. Hope you settled in all right. I'm and the there's boss. There's plenty of work to be done. As you can probably tell just from looking out the window, you're right in the middle of the commie threat. See all that bill <laughs> painted over <laughs> yeah, the window? Yeah, I can tell that straight away. That's the apartment of Joseph Reigns, Republican big shot. He's been getting sent death threats from communist sympathizers lately. This is the latest. We need you to find out who's behind it in order to secure Reynolds' safety. First things first, 
grab the camera off the desk and take a picture of the paint on Reynolds' window for us. Once you've got that, fax it to us. Just stick the picture right in and press the button on the right. Okay, so I'm going to grab the camera. And I do apologise if there's a, a lot of noise in the background. Turned my fans on the computer to maximum because I've got my VR headset so I can't monitor the temperatures, but with the camera you can zoom in like so. Take a picture. And there we go. And then we grab this. And I think this is what he wants. I'm not sure. Paint tag? No. Place that up there somewhere. Now what do you want? You've got a pretty good vantage point from up there, so next I want you to take pictures of the crime scene. Maybe you can find what he or she used to make that little piece of art. Anything that looks suspicious, you snap a picture and fax it over. Got it? Okay. So firstly, before we start, let's have a look. I position my room so that the edge of the bed is acts like the edge of the windowsill, so <laughs> it's really surreal, and I do apologise. If you do have vertigo, or you suffer from vertigo, like I'm doing right now, but as you can see, the world is absolutely bustling. Beautiful. See the posters over there, and I couldn't hear that train go by. Quite weird. Um... There's some footprints over there, which looks pretty suspicious. And it's a lovely, gorgeous car down there. Cars back then were absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do is... All of these people, I presume, live in the apartments over there. So, you know, for instance, so he might tell me to try and identify the person who's not accounted for. So what I'll do is I'll grab this camera and let's have a look at the footprints. Remember, I've never done this mission before. Put that down there. Throw that away. Don't need that one. Nice catch on those footprints. Thank They're you. the same color as the paint tag. And given that they go into the building, the culprit probably lives there. Don't say. Keep looking for more clues. No problem. She's looking at me in a weird way. Right. She is a communist spy. Hey, wait! There's a hat over there. Hard hat. Maybe that's a clue? I don't know. Ring? Nope. Obviously not. So, what else can we find? Any other clues? Let's peer out of the window. <laughs> Any other clues? Let me think. Some paint over there. Um, can you see anything? Really can't see anything from here. Uh, try this. Blue hammer, maybe? Let's try that. Still vibrating. <gasps> Another hard hat over there, actually. So that was wrong. So who this? Jody? Jody. In fact, I wonder if... Judy. There's the book over there. And who's that? Hector! Okay, sounds like a Mortal Kombat character. What? It's like they have a hive mind or something. Look at them. <laughs> ah! There's a poster. Keith, you communist. 
Let's have a look. Poster, there we go. That, yes, definitely. There we go. I think that's evidence, surely. Footprints. Something down there. Keep looking for more clues. More clues. What's that over there? Maybe this poster? Let's try that. No. Nothing. More clues. That obviously was ink down there. Red paint, of course. Excellent. Yeah, we did it. Looks like you might have found the tools of the trade. I think I know where the sold based on the label of cap. I'll send some agents to investigate right away. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, you can actually have a cigarette as well. I know it's pretty naughty of me, but. Uh... <laughs> he even comes out. <laughs> See you later. Now his clothes look as though he's from the 1960s. Not entirely sure. But yeah. Um, supposed to be a hustling, bustling city. Look at that poster up there. Face the facts. One up there as well. Fish o. Fish fish sticks. And that poster over there. And the cars going by. And the train, which I can't hear. Ah, uh, it's awesome. But we're, the thing is, we're stuck in this room. We can't move from this room. I can't even go over there. I can't pick up the hat because I will show you what happens. You try to go past here. Look what happens. Da -da -da. I don't know how that appears for you guys, but it just goes all black and then shows like the outline of the play area, and that's it. And the birdies. Uh, the thing, another thing I don't like about this game is that it, it's it does get quite boring after a while because there's nothing to do you're waiting for him to ring um to ring up um so there's nothing else to do in the meantime so in fact i'll just pick up the phone and see the pictures you sent us will help a lot when it's time to piece this puzzle together okay in the meantime we've gathered some new intelligence and got fax to you yep press the left button on the fax machine to receive it give it a good read and use it to find us some more decisive evidence Right. Once you've gathered enough proof, we'll know for sure who the culprit is. So I played the the other one. I think I'm playing L at the minute. The other ones are. The guy is a lot nicer. This guy seems a bit like an asshole. <laughs> he said the left button. So there we go. Grab that. Grab that. Okay, so. Pace Reynolds. March the 22nd, a communist tag was painted on politician Jay Reynolds' apartment window. One day before the crime, it was reported that a 16-foot ladder had been stolen from the construction site on Baker Street. The overseer says that entering the site is only permitted by workers. That night, a civilian also reported seeing a suspicious-looking man wearing a leather jacket, carrying a ladder at 3 p.m. So, civilian reported seeing a suspicion wearing a leather jacket. So, who's wearing a leather jacket? Ah, the lighting's a bit better now. You! Communist! You! Grab the camera. Larry. 
Is it you, Larry? Larry? Hello? Interesting. This person is wearing a leather jacket. Yes. It doesn't fully prove he's a culprit, however. You should find out where he lives. If you need help, you can find the apartments of all suspects in the folder on your desk. Okay, so... I, I mentioned this book here before. And what it enables you to do to find out a bit more information about the people who live in the apartment across the road. Uh, what's his name again? Larry. Pick that one up. Hey, I think I'll keep this. Throw that one off, actually. So Larry is there. So now we need to see. Oops. Whereabouts he lives. Larry Johnson, apartment five, which is there. So, apartment five, eh? Hey? There he is. Gotcha. What did he say? On the desk. Yes, I know it's... What? Apartment 5. There you go. I found out where he lives. I found out where he lives. Apartment 5! <laughs> Sorry! This person is wearing a leather jacket. Oh, shut up. How can I prove he lives in apartment 5? There's no other way. Have a look. Hard hat. Maybe that will prove it. Ah, so Mr. Sloppy is a construction worker. Now that's a much more solid connection. Good job, Dixie. We'll be paying Larry Johnson a visit real soon. Real soon. Oh, that was pretty quick. Now, do you remember those paint cans you showed us before? Yeah. We traced them back to the store they were bought at. The owner told us the only time he sold a can like that recently was two days ago. Okay. In other words, the day before the crime. Oh, okay. Here's the catch, though. The guy who bought them wasn't Larry Johnson. Okay. It looks like we've got a two-man job on our hands. Right. I'm going to fax you the receipt for the sale. Right. Check the fax machine. No problem. And find out who Johnson's partner is. Sure. So, we don't need this anymore. Let's put that away. That's a pretty big receipt. So, 1G of red paint. G, what does that stand for? Doggy strike. What? Cigarettes. Bonson lighter. Curved. That's me, isn't it? <laughs> Curved claw hammer. Blue! I know exactly who that is. Grab it! Quick, 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 quick! Lorenzo! A blue hammer down there, gave it away! I'm not sure how this proves anything. Keep what? looking. What do you mean? He's got that poster as well! Doggy strike, Bunsen lighter. Let's try zooming in, shall we?
Blue Hammer Ronson Lighter. What else did I need to find? What is this, by the way? Okay, so red paint can. Hockey strike cigarettes. Strikes. Strike a red stripe. I can't see anything down there, really. Maybe this? This blue ham is one of the items of Barry's plot that bought besides the pink. Show us who lives there. Oh. Well, I already took a picture of... What's his name? Lorenzo. Let's try that again. What? So mm -hmm. Lorenzo Boggs is Johnson's little partner in crime. Nice job, 626. We're going to continue to wiretap Johnson's phone, and I'll call you back as soon as I get some. Okay. Stare at the clock or whatever. They say it makes time fly by. <laughs> and now I have to wait. That's the thing. Stare at the clock. Oh, yeah. It goes faster. Listen up. Johnson and Boggs could not be the ones to come up with a plan to target Ringo's and his Republican Party. We have a lead on who their leader could be. Okay. We have been looking for a Russian mole for some time now, but he has gone under hiding. Changed his name and appearance. Okay. We think that this is the same guy, but under a different identity. A year ago, we were following him around, and I've still got a report on him that I'll fax you. Right. Check the fax, and I'll call you back. Right, no problem. I'm going to try something right there. Leaning over. Uh, <laughs> what? Sorry, I, I didn't mean it. All right. So what we also know is that they've stopped joking around. Larry's got a call from a person telling him that the plan will be executed tonight. We fear that Reno's life is in real danger tonight. Okay. Even though this is a critically dangerous situation. It's still an opportunity for you to figure out who the mole is. You haven't got a lot of time, Agent. If you find out who the mole is before he can strike, we've got him before he can do any real damage. Good luck. I'm not meant to do that. Seriously. The mole. Okay. The mole. I don't. I just couldn't hear what he said. To be honest. Harvey, is it Harvey? I'm not sure how this proves anything. Keep looking. Lorenzo. I'm just taking pictures of anyone now. Hello, <laughs> Shelly. Shelly, is it you? I hope not. What's she doing up there? I don't know who it could be, to be honest. Lorenzo, no, I have enough of you, thank you very much. Jody, did I take one of you before? Let's try you. Oh. Hector, taking one of him before. Doreen, never taken one of you. Let's peer out the window. Okay, let me see now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Who's that down there? I don't recognize her. Doreen. 
Beatrice. Never seen her before. Let's, let's pick up the phone. I'm not sure how this proves anything. Keep looking. What do I need to find? Okay, let's have a look. Integrity Protection Bureau, Bureau Surveillance Report Target Igor. Ali Queen. <laughs> Target is suspected of being a communist mole. Target was spotted at the Polo Grounds Baseball Stadium on February 15th, February 22nd, and March 8th. Contact with Target was lost after the latter date. Target is suspected to have changed his identity. Igor. So it's a guy. We know it's a guy. So. There's no point in um, photographing those females. He looks mighty suspicious. I think I know how to do this, actually. Okay, let's look at all the characters that we have. Lowry. We have Keith. Harvey, who else do we have? Keith, again. Someone else down there. Lorenzo is fine. And anyone else that you can see? I don't see any other, any other guy running around. Joseph. Joseph looks very suspicious. Okay, so basically let's get rid of that one. I already have one of him. Now I think what it wants me to do is to find out, eliminate each one of those. So Harry, have a look. Hector and Harvey. Beatrice and Larry. Okay, Larry's been eliminated. He has a flat here. Let's have a look. Who else? Shelley and Jody. Doreen and Marion. Joseph. Lorenzo and Keith. Those two together. What? No! Whoa! Sorry, just a bit weird there. I reckon it's Harvey. What to be? I'm not sure how this proves anything. <sighs> Keep looking. Who else could it be? I can't see anyone else. Someone going up there. No, it's baby. See, there's no guys in the, uh, in the cafe. So, and there's no guys outside. Unless, this can't see anyone else. Who's that down there, actually? Not really. Next time. Ah, oh, I didn't eliminate Hector, did I? Yeah, let's try him. Nope. Nope. No. I'm not sure how this proves anything. Okay. No problem. Oh, right, there's two down there. I can't really see anything. What's that? No, obviously not him. In fact, even though we've more or less eliminated, let's try every single one of these. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Now I'm using all my pictures. There's no, none of them. Who could it possibly be? Have a look at the clues. Target Igor. His identity. I'm not entirely sure who it could be. Because I can't see anyone else in the pictures. Oh, sorry, in the uh, apartments. Where are they going? What the hell? Well, all the guys that I need are down here. Who's he? Have a look. Harvey. Did I take Harvey's picture before? No, I haven't. Right him. This could be it, guys. I'm not sure how this proves oh. anything. Keep looking. What do you want me to look for? Taking pictures of everyone. Heath, I've taken a billion pictures of him. Larry. Look at this! It's a mess! Lorenzo? Anyone else? Anyone else want a picture? Free of charge! Can't see anyone. There's no one else here! Who's that at the end? Uh, nope. Oh. <laughs> it's quite strange also that the uh, the clothes aren't moving. <laughs> Pretty awesome though. But there's no one else down who birds. Anyway guys, yeah, you get the idea. This game is uh, free of charge. It's called The Red Stair. And um, I urge anyone to uh, give it a try. If you have a VR headset, unfortunately, you can only play the game if you have a VR headset. But uh, hopefully they might, they might one day release a patch so that people who don't have VR can actually play the game using their mouse and keyboard. But as you can see, I've created a huge mess and I'm really, really sorry. But there you go. And also, this is a picture of the developers themselves. Thanks very much, guys. The Red Stair, as you can see there. Quite a small group, but an amazing game. So, thanks very much, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.